let's do some subtraction. And actually, in these videos, I'm going to switch between the Singapore math way of visualizing things and the Sal way of visualizing things. And actually, they're, they're the exact same way. Um, I find the Sal way to be more intuitive because I am Sal. Anyway, let's do some problems. Let's do 3,246 <clears throat> minus 1,634. And let's do it with the Singapore math visualization of what's going on. So this is the thousands. This is the hundreds. This is the tens. And this is the ones. So let's draw the top number. 3,000. Well, that's 3,000. 1,000. 2,000. And 3,000, 200, 100, 200, 40, so that's four tens, one ten, two ten, three tens, four tens, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are all, these are all ones. And we're going to subtract 1,634 from it. So whenever we do subtraction, and I think in a couple of videos we sample this a little bit with three digits, we just have to make sure that the number below um, the number above is smaller, so that we can just do subtraction in each of the places. But if we go, you know, you could go right to left or left to right. You could see that well, 1,000 is less than 3,000, so that's cool. 6,000 is not less than 2,000. Uh, sorry, 600 is not less than 200, so that's not cool. So we're going to have to do something here. But then we have 30 is less than 40, that's OK, and 4 is less than 6. So somehow, we have to be able to get a larger number up here in the hundreds place. And the way we do that, um, the way I, you know, when I learned it in the uh, early 80s, they called it borrowing. And even that wasn't a real term, because you're not borrowing from a number, another number place. You're taking it. You're never giving the number back. But anyway, I think now in, it's called regrouping. But it's all the same thing. So what do you do? For example, we're in the hundreds place, right? We have two hundreds. And we have to take out six hundreds from this, right? So how do we do that? Well, what we do is we can take a thousand and we can turn it into ten hundreds. So let's take this thousand and let's turn it into ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each of those are a hundred. Hundred, 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 hundred. Hundred, 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 hundred. That's ten hundreds, right? So we got rid of this thousand. So how do we draw it here? Well, we got rid of one thousand. So we had three, but we cashed in one of them. So now we only have two left, right? One, two. And then how many hundreds do we have? We have these ten plus two. We have twelve hundreds. Twelve hundreds, and now every number on the bottom is less than the number on the top, and we can subtract. So six minus four. So six minus one, two, three, four is two. Four minus three. So we have four minus one, two, three is one. Twelve minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have six left, and you know that twelve minus six is six. And then two minus one. This one's not there anymore, so we have two. Take out one, you just have one left. 1,612. So let's do the other problems that they have here. And I'll skip around a little bit, because I think the important thing is that you get the big picture. And then after you get the big picture, um, the rest of the problems are really just a little bit of practice. So let's do 5,400. So I'm going to do 5,340 minus 6. And now I'm going to do it Sal's way. And you'll see it's really the same thing as the Singapore math way. It's just a slight different way of thinking about it. So how can we write 5,340? What's a different way of writing it? Well, 5,340 is the same thing as 5,000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 0 ones, right? 5,340. And we're going to subtract that. So how do we write 6? Well, 6 is just 6 ones, right? And there's nothing else in any of the other places. So how do we do that? 
Well, in the ones place, we have a 0, and we want to take a 6 away from it. You can't do that. And you will in the future when we do negative numbers. But for what we do right now, you can't take a 6 from a 0. So what do you do? Well, let's take 10 away from the, f the tens place. So let's take 10 from here. So this becomes 30. And let's put that 10 here. And how do we do it here? How does that look? Well, this becomes a 3, and then this becomes a 10. And now we can subtract. What's 10 minus 6? What's 10 minus 6? It's 4 plus 30 plus 300 plus 5,000. Or when we do it on this side, 10 minus 6 is 4. 3 minus nothing is 3. 3 minus nothing is 3. 5 minus nothing is 5. And there you have it. 5,334 is equal to 5,000 plus 300 plus 30 plus 4. Let's do another one. Actually, all of these are kind of of the same nature. But yeah, it um, doesn't hurt to go through them. They do it where you have to borrow in the tens place, and then you have to borrow in the hundreds place. But they're all uh, kind of the same notion. So let's do 7,000. Minus 300. Well, if we write it out like this, 7,000 is really just 7,000 plus 0 hundreds plus 0 tens plus 0 ones. 300 is 300 plus 0 tens plus 0 ones. And so we want to subtract this 300 from this 0 hundreds. How do we do that? Well, let's take one of the thousands from the 7,000. So we're going to take 1,000 away. So we only have 6,000 left. And we're going to put that 1,000 here. So if we do that, well, how, how does this look on this side? Well, that becomes a 6, and this becomes a 10, right? 10 hundred is 1,000. This 10 hundred is the same thing as this 1,000. This 6,000 is the same thing as that 6,000. And now we can subtract 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 3 is 7. 6 minus nothing is 6. And if we did the same thing here, 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0. 1,000 minus 300 is 700. And then 6,000 minus nothing is 6,000. So 6,700 is equal to 6,000 plus 700 plus 0 tens plus 0. Let's see if we can do a harder one. Now this one looks interesting. Problem number 6 on page 30. Problem number 6. And I will do it in blue. So 2,435 minus 1,268. So let's think about this. Let's write it in what I call expanded form. But that's 2,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 5, right? 2,435. These are equivalent. And then the bottom number is 1,000 plus 200 plus 60 plus 8. And you see why this is really the same thing as that Singapore math where I draw out the tables and I draw the disks. And actually, I'm open to your feedback on which one you prefer, which one you find uh, more intuitive. This one obviously takes less time. And it's something that you're my, you, know, you could probably do on the side of your paper if you really want to get an intuition of what's happening. So let's try to subtract. So remember, the number on the bottom, if you want to subtract, has to be less than the number on the top, or the number right above it. 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 4, 6 is not less than 3, and 8 is not less than 5. So neither of these are cool. So what can we do? These worked out, but we can't subtract 60 from 30. So what can we do? Well, let's take, one of the, let's take 100 from 400. So we're going to make that into 300, and add that 100 here. So 130. All we did is we shifted 100 from the 400 to the 30. That's all we did. OK. But now we still have this problem here where the 8 is, is greater than the 5. So let's take a 10 from this 130. And it becomes 120. I'm running out of space. That's 120. And I took the 10, and I'll shift it here. So this becomes 15. So I know you can't read it. So this is 300. This is 120. This is 15. And now we're ready to subtract. Actually, before we subtract, let's see how it would look you know, if you weren't doing it in expanded form. We took 100 from the, four, from the 400, and we added it to the 30. So this became a 3. And then the 30 became 130. Right? 13 in the tens place is 130. And then we said, 
Well, we need this 5 isn't large enough, so let's take 10 from the tens place. So instead of having 13 tens, we're going to have 12 tens. And add, add that to the 5, so the 5 becomes a 15. That's exactly what we did at this end, right? It's just the only difference is we wrote the zeros so that you see that you know 12 tens is 120. 3 hundreds is 300, and 15 is, of course, 3, 15. Now we can subtract. 15 minus 8 is 7. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Or 15 minus 8 is 7. 120 minus 60 is 60. 300 minus 200 is 100. 2,000 minus 1,000 is 1,000. And just so you remember, this 1 represents this 1,000. This 1 represents 100. And how do I know that? Because of its place, its place value. This 6 represents this 60. And then, of course, this 7 is represents that 7, or they represent each other. Let's do another one. And now I'll actually, oh, actually, I'm already on the 11th minute. Actually, let me just keep going, because I think now that I'm a YouTube partner, they let me do videos for as long as I want, which could be dangerous. I might keep, I might keep going forever. I might never stop, because this is just so much fun. So I'll do problem number 10 on page 32. And problem number 10, we have 6,000 6, minus 257. I'm going to do it the Singapore math way. So let's say this is the thousands place. I'll just write TH for thousands. This is the hundreds place. This is the tens. Tens. This is the ones. The ones. OK, so when we subtract, we want to see if the number uh, above is greater than the number below. Well, 0 is not greater than 2. 0 is not greater than 5. 0 is not greater than 7. So we have an issue. So how do we do this? Well, first, let's just represent the 6,000 over here. So 6,000 is 6 thousands, literally. It's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. I'm writing, making these too big. 4,000. 5,000, and 6,000. And then we have no hundreds, tens, or ones, right? But we need hundreds, of tens, or ones, so we can subtract. So what can we do? Well, let's take one of these thousands and convert them to 10 hundreds. So I'm going to take this thousand and convert it to 10 hundreds, right? 10 hundred. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All of those are 100. I think you know those are 100. I don't have to write 100 in each of them. So, and how does that correspond here? Well, I took 1,000, so I only have 5,000 left, and I converted them to 10 hundreds. So now I have a 10 in the hundreds place. 10 hundreds. Well, the hundreds place looks good now, but now the tens place. I have uh, zero is less than five. So what can I do? Let me take one of these. 10 hundreds, these newly cashed out 10 hundreds, and turn them into 10 tens. So if I take this one, let's take that one, and I will convert it to 10 tens, right? This is 100 that I just took. So that's 10 tens. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And each of these are 10. So what did I do? I took one of my 10 hundreds, so now I have 9, and I have 10 tens. Well, that might. Seem like we're done now, but we still have a problem in the ones place. Seven is greater than zero, which is not acceptable. So let's do the same thing. Let's take one of these tens. This is a ten, right? Each of these is ten. Let's take one of them away and convert it into ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so we took one of these ten tens. So we have nine left, and we have ten ones. Now we are ready to subtract. 10 minus 7 is 3. Or 10 minus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 3 left. 9 minus 5, this one was already gone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 4. 9 minus 2 is 7. Right? We take out 1, 2, we have 7 left. And then 5 minus nothing. So 5,743. Let's do 
Well, actually, I'm already running at 15 minutes. So I will do the next problem in the next video. See you soon.